Oh my goodness, that is awesome. Right, I'm doing all of this quite gingerly because this is a quite a nasty scorpion as scorpions go. Um, capable of inflicting a very nasty sting. That is a black forest scorpion. It's not huge as scorpions go, but he is very venomous. See him clasping onto that leaf for dear life. Now, this is a scorpion that could do a person, even a big, strong, fully grown man, some serious mischief. On the end of the tail here, and clasped between my fingertips, clasped very, very carefully, I have to say, is a spike which leads to a venom gland. And the venom that's inside that gland is really, really strong. It's actually capable of, of making your kidneys and your liver totally shut down once the poison gets into your system. So I'm treating him with a lot of respect. I don't really want to give you the impression that scorpions are all bad. In fact, they are some of the most incredible creatures in the world. Probably the most fantastic mothers of all invertebrates. And if we didn't have these guys running around, then there'd certainly be way too many things like cockroaches that are pests we certainly want to get rid of. I'm just going to let go of his tail and see if he'll sit there on my knee. There you go. It's quite chilled out, really. So chilled out, in fact, that he goes for a little wander down my leg. Oh, he's off. Look at the heel of your boot, Steve. Is he on the heel of my boot? Yes, he is. He's ended up in quite an odd place. <laughs> if I'm honest with you, seems to have taken, uh, taken shelter on the bottom of my foot. For a lot of people around the world, I think the first thing they would do right now would be to squash him. But personally, I think scorpions are absolutely marvellous, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let him carry on hunting. <laughs> 